Ooh, here he comes. Boom. Well, good morning. It's early. I don't know, a little while before sunrise. They're starting to get some color over here to the east over Sleeping Indian. I pulled off the road here to kind of gather my thoughts a little bit on where I want to be for sunrise uh, because the Tetons have some really dramatic clouds rolling over the top. Sleeping Indian is already getting pink and, it, and beautiful and it's got clouds rolling over the top that way. And my thought originally was to go look for moose and I'm not quite sure what to do. The cloud situation to the east looks too cloudy maybe for it to light up these beautiful clouds over the Tetons. So I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes here trying to figure out what my plan really is. But uh, anyway, it should turn out to be a great morning regardless of what I decide or don't decide to do. So, I don't know, those colors have me excited already. And if that was to happen over the Tetons, that would be cool too, but I'm not sure the sunlight's going to get through the clouds that way. So, anyway, tough decision so early in the morning. Okay, the pink skies that way went away. So, I'm going to leave it's the sleeping Indian here. I made a few photos of that. It was decent. I'm going to keep heading north here and um, see what it looks like in the Teton Range. A little further north there. It looks like a little maybe gap in the clouds to the east. So maybe some sunlight will sneak through there and give me some real dramatic light. I hope. Well, it's super pretty out. The skies behind me are gorgeous, but uh, those clouds that are so pretty are blocking all the light, so it's not getting to the Tetons. So I think I'm going to bail on sunrise and go look for critters. There's some moose out here. There's some bison. There's elk, but they're being shot at and killed right now. I could run into a bear or a wolf or something too, but... I'm kind of bummed about the lack of light hitting the mountains because it's uh, it's really pretty. There's there's nice clouds over the mountains. Uh, it had real potential this morning here. So that's kind of what the mountains look like over there. Out of focus though, but super pretty. Just the light isn't going to happen. So far it was a uh, pretty morning. I made a couple of nice sunrise images and uh, a couple of okay images of a mule deer buck. So that was a, a good morning. And now I'm going to go check on bighorn sheep before I call it a day. Got about a 
15 minute drive to get to where the bighorn sheep are hanging out and maybe I'll get lucky there and have some headbutting action or something going on there. I'll check in with you when I get there. Well, I'm out looking for owls. So far, I'm not finding any. It's late November and it's gonna start snowing tomorrow. So today it's like 55 degrees and the sun came out and it's just beautiful. And so instead of sitting in front of the computer, which is what I was doing, I decided I need to come out and go for a walk and uh, look for an owl. I haven't seen an owl in six weeks, which is bumming me out. Uh, but I've been looking too. I think people sometimes get the impression that every time I go out, I find something. And, you know, the truth is I just don't post videos of days when I go out and don't find anything because they're not very interesting. But uh, I go out and try all the time and fail a lot, if you want to call that, you know, failure, which I don't. But uh, I'm, I'm out today to hopefully have some success and uh, and enjoy myself on a kind of probably the last 50 degree day 50 plus degree day we're going to have for a while maybe all winter who knows but tomorrow it's supposed to start snowing and get yucky or nice depending on how you look at it but uh yeah so i'm out here i i hope i bump into an owl out here but uh i'm gonna enjoy myself and hope for the best I'm almost back to my car. No owls to be found today. Unless I find one in the next hundred yards, which is possible. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. And uh, I made some photos today, which was nice. Some sunrise and some mule deer stuff. No owls though, but it was nice to get out and look for them. My six week cold streak is still alive, but I'm determined to end that cold streak soon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video today and um, have a great day and I'll do it again soon. Be good, see ya. As my luck would have it, in that uh, 100 yards to get back to my car, I saw something flying through the woods. See that right there? That's a great gray owl. I saw it from, I don't know, 150 yards away and I didn't know what it was. I just saw something big flying through the forest and uh, I thought it could be an owl. So I took off running, <laughs> and sure enough, there's a beautiful great gray owl sitting there. How cool is that? So my six week streak is broken. Uh, it looks like he's hunting too. So I'm gonna put this camera down and make some photos. How cool is that? <laughs> Hey, there's my new buddy. He seems pretty comfortable with me. Um, he looks like he's hunting. So hopefully something cool is going to happen here. So cool. I'm so glad to have found this bird. It turned a mediocre day into a great day, just like that. Boom. All right, so I'm watching this owl here. He's perched. Kind of a cool, gnarly perch. Makes for a kind of interesting photo. It's so gnarly and not clean, but I brought with me out here a D850 and a Nikon 300 F4 lens. 
So that's what I've got to work with here today. I technically could run back to my car and grab like a tripod and a zoom lens and that's what I would ideally want. But I'm going to hang here for a little while and watch this guy hunt. This is a super awesome combination. Nothing wrong with this at all, other than I just prefer a zoom, generally, to be able to zoom in and out in the forest here. I'm kind of in a meadow right now, so I can zoom with my feet a little bit. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I kind of can't believe that that happened uh, just in that last hundred yards on the way back to the car. I didn't think... Um, I was going to find whatever bird that was I saw. I just saw something big moving through the through the woods. And track down this owl. So that that worked out great. Super fun. I'm going to just be shooting this at f4. Just keep it wide open. I'm going to be at like minus one stop on exposure compensation. I'll probably crank it up to ISO 1600 and that'll get me over a thousandth of a second shutter speed. And that's what I'm going to want for any kind of flight or action shots. Uh, hopefully this guy will do some hunting. I gotta keep my eye on the bird over here, but I'm set up right here. I'm probably like a hundred feet from it. And uh, it's facing directly at me here. And there's like a corridor of trees to get out into the next meadow. Um, and so I'm setting up out here in hopes that if he decides to fly, he might come straight at me. So I'm set up here with my autofocus point dead center so I can track his face, hopefully, as he flies straight at me. Um, I've got my shutter speed at a 12 50th of a second. Uh, locked into manual exposure, and everything's looking good. So he's on this little tree right here, blending in, of course. And uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting for something to happen here. He's looking around like he's hunting, but he hasn't moved for probably a half hour since I first found him. So now I'm just going to kind of wait and see what happens out here. And try and be ready and not screw it up. Like if he flies right now, then I look like an idiot because I'm going to totally miss the shot. So far, so good. Al woke up and he's going crazy. He's been going from perch to perch, flying around hunting. He's gone down to the ground three times. He's caught two gophers. And he's currently down on the ground over here, right? Um, geez, my finger doesn't work right, but right there. He's sitting on a little stumpy thing there. Still hunting, he must be hungry. But it's super fun. I've just been running around trying to keep up with him from perch to perch, he just keeps going and going. Um, giving me some nice flight opportunities, some cool perches. It's been super fun. Looks like he might be about ready to fly again, so I'm gonna put the camera away. Well, <laughs> this turned into a really spectacular evening. Just super fun to be out here with a wild owl. He's up high. Up here right now, there's no shot. And it's getting really dark. So I've gotten to the point where I'm shooting at F4, ISO 3200. I'm getting down to like 400th of a second. So image quality is going to start to go kaput. I could keep cranking it up a little bit more. Ooh, here he comes. went down to the ground and hunted. Let's see what he's going to do next. Okay, looks like
looks like he missed the gopher that time. I love it that he's still trying though. He's been super active like that. Just super fun to be out here like this. Even though photography's pretty much done, I'll watch him just for a few more minutes as I kind of head back towards my vehicle. But uh, this is so much fun. But anyway, uh, this, I'm finally gonna call it a day. I think this is the third time I've called it a day. Ooh, here he comes. Zoom. <laughs> so cool. Oh, so cool. All right, anyway, I'm gonna call it a day now. The owl made my day. Hope you made your day too. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.